Good morning, Modern Steaders. It's not supposed to rain today, and guess what? It's raining right now. I just looked at my weather app, and it said no rain today. I walk outside, and it's raining. <sighs> Man, we can't win with this weather. I don't know what to expect. I didn't lock the goats in the barn last night for the first time. Kind of surprised they're not out. Uh, I guess I shouldn't be surprised it's raining out. What did you think? Huh? Did you like having the door open all night? We still have three goats. So that's a good sign. Good morning, pigs. Why are you sleeping over there now, huh? The leaves look nice. Doing a great job clearing in here. This was all brush. I'll go over there and show you what it looked like before. This cat's just crazy. You're on a high perch there, Figaro, looking for a mouse. Did you find any? You're always hunting, aren't you? <laughs> oh, the chicks are doing good. So all in here used to look like this. And the pigs have done an awesome job clearing it and eating it. A lot of people want to know why I didn't put the goats in there or put the goats in with the pigs. The pigs do an awesome job getting in there, eating the brush and rooting it. They don't do as great of a job eating the brush as the goats would. But if I put the goats in there, they're just going to get all dirty and nasty with the pigs. and I don't want that. So I'll let the pigs finish that job off. These turkeys are getting huge this weekend. We're going to harvest them. I'm hesitant to wait too long to harvest the turkeys because last time we raised them, they got to 54 pounds butchered was the biggest one. And the next biggest was 48 pounds. That was way too big. If we can get these around, 15 to 20 pound turkeys, I'll be very happy with that. What are you doing? What are you doing, Booze? Moose. I'm hoping before we get our first snow, which could be any day now once it starts cooling off, but I'm hoping before we get our first snow, maybe it'll wait a month, that we can get the chickens all over the pasture to eat up the rest of this grass. And then I won't have to just mow it. The chickens can eat it. It's nice and tall over here. Did you find anything? They keep calling for a frost, and luckily we haven't got one yet. We were supposed to have one yesterday, we never got it. So we're pretty close to being a month behind on the frost date, which is awesome. I'll take that any day. You guys coming or you staying out in the rain? Pluto, this way. Come on, this way. This cat cracks me up. You like it out here in the rain? Yeah?
Did you girls like having the barn open for you last night? Huh? I wonder what time you come out in the morning, if that's open. Want a little bit of grain? Take your work for it in your chaff hay. Yesterday we went to a goat 101 workshop, learning just more about goats, how to take blood, trimming the hoofs, nutrition, feed, body score, just all sorts of different things. When we're at a class like that, we don't like to record. It's not on our farm. We're not given the class or the workshop. So we had more of a traveling, running around vlog yesterday. But man, we saw some beautiful foliage. If you guys want to see that video, I'll put a link to it right here. The foliage right now is just amazing. Oh, you're silly. That give you a headache. That'd give me a headache. You said you wanted all the ribs. Olivia's being a farmer for Halloween. She wants Pluto to be a sheep. Well, I want her to be a goat, so that can be a goat with Yeah. 
Jenny and sister. So many zucchini bread because you got a sick of teeth. Yes. Two. Start at one. to two, but don't go any further than two. Alright, so you have your zucchini in there. Oh yeah. Okay, it's good now. Now it needs to get mixed better. You need muscles for that, huh? I guess so. I'm gonna dump it into the pan. Oh, hold on, I don't want that dripping everywhere. So this is cinnamon sugar we put in another container. Just a little bit to give it a little you can do it a little teeny bit more, and that's it. We'll make it look a little even. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, now we're putting them in the oven. Break up some leaves to put them on top of the garden for the winter to keep some leaf mulch out in the air and invite some good bacteria in the garden all winter. But I gotta find my leaf rake first. I hate when you're looking for stuff and you don't remember where you put it. Yeah. Nope. Nope. No shovel. Man, I don't know where I left it. Nope. I see it. It's over there. We had a lot of people leaving in the comments that, hey, you're supposed to cut your plants off at the stalks, just leave them in the garden, and then leave the roots in the garden bed. And that's supposed to help overwinter the soil. We, or we tried that last year. I didn't have much success with it. I didn't see that we gained anything. So I wanted to compost all that in the compost pile. And we'll use leaf litter this year. We have plenty of that. The nice thing about the leaf litter is it composts so quickly. Figaro. Mister, you're crazy. Yes.
What are you two doing? Huh? You're crazy. I think we have more than enough for the garden. Slow down. Get over here. Stay over here. All right, let's try that. I think I'm gonna end up needing more leaves, but we've got plenty of them. I'm gonna put it on probably about three to four inches thick. That garlic's doing good. We're excited for that next year. Now some of these leaves are a couple years old, 
which is awesome. They've already started to break down. They got fungus going on and that'll just help inoculate the soil in the, le the new fresh leaves from this year. I love that color, so pretty. One more bed to do, that one. Come on, over here. And we still have plenty of leaves to fall off all those trees. You being a good girl, huh? You being a good girl? Yeah. Good puppy. bacon zucchini bread which you already know but I can't wait to go in there and smell it I bet you it's gonna smell delicious <laughs> we have a friend and subscriber Matt who works for UNH the University of New Hampshire we sent Matt pictures of the stone and he sent them to a geologist he knows and they said that that's most likely back from when the glaciers were here wearing holes in the stone from the water so I thought that was kind of neat to find out. I guess viewers are right. If we stood this up, you'd have your two eyes, your nose, and kind of like a mouth or something. It'd be a skeleton. Hmm. Maybe I'll have to see if I can get the excavator back over there and arrange that rock to look like that. That zucchini bread smells delicious. Love these pans. They fall right out. Glad we got another new one. Not half your bread still in the pan? Nope. Comes right out. I love these things. Somebody was asking the other day about them. I'll put a link in the description down below to them. They're in our Amazon shop. But all the bread, whatever we cook, it comes out nice and easy. It's funny because the first when we got them, the first one, it was from a yard sale, and I said, what the heck, I don't want these. You gave one away. I did. So we had to go buy another one. <laughs> they weren't so good. Well, I just thought, hmm. I've never seen. I made a plant pot. I made a succulent thing with it. Yeah, used it as a plant. Yeah, but we hadn't really used. We hadn't used them yet. No, we hadn't. <laughs> I guess I probably can't ask for it back. Probably. What are you doing, Mr. Figaro? Try not to blind you. Going to put the animals away for the night, then I gotta milk the goats. These turkeys have been driving me nuts. They're still not going in. Sorry, I don't wanna trip over my rocks. They're still not going in. The chicken tractor at night. When they're in there, they roost on the roosting pole, but they won't go in. So we're still having to hurt them. Uh, 
You know where you go. There's only one place to go. There you go. Good night. I wish they were as easy as the chickens. I'm gonna go milk Willow. So this is where I'm gonna end today's video and we'll see you right back here in the next one at Lumna Acres. Did you hear that little crack? One of the goats touched the electric fence.